This right here is pretty funny. Joe Biden got caught on a hot mic calling a Fox News reporter a stupid SOB. Check this out. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. Now, in all fairness, that is kind of a stupid question on its face. Of course, inflation, or Biden inflation as some like to call it, will not help the Democrats in the 2022 midterms. But there's more to it than that. You see, first we were told that inflation was a sign that the economy was recovering. It meant that people had money to spend, and because they were spending that money, prices were going up. Then Janet Yellen, the Secretary of Treasury, told us that the inflation was just transitory and that it would be gone before you know it. Then Senator Elizabeth Warren explained that it was just the richest 1% price gouging the rest of us. There was no need for the higher prices. It was just pure evil greed. Okay, so if any of those things were true, then the question Peter Ducey asked the president, is inflation a liability for the midterms, wouldn't be a dumb question. If inflation was a sign that the economy is doing great, then it wouldn't be a liability for the midterms. If the inflation was just transitory, then it would be gone by the midterms. And if it was just rich people price gouging us, you could easily make the case that it's not Joe Biden's fault. But it's none of those things. And that's why Biden hated that question and reacted the way he did. Now, this also shows why they usually cut off his mic so quickly. His handlers know he's a gaff machine, but it turns out that he's a cranky old gaff machine. This was a guy who ran on the idea of unifying the country. Someone who was different from the divisive Donald Trump. Of course, that was just a narrative. The attacks on Donald Trump were mostly lies that Democrats used, get this, to divide the country. Dividing us has long been their strategy. That's something we've talked about on this channel many times. Joe Biden insulting that reporter showed us that he thinks inflation is going to be around for a while and that he believes it's going to hurt Democrats for the midterms. It also shows us that his bad polling numbers are starting to get to him. And most of all, it reveals something that a lot of us already knew. And that is that Joe Biden is not a unifying figure. He never has been. That's the simple truth. What law school did you attend, and where did you place in that class? And the other question oh, is, yes. could you quickly... I, I think, we I, I, think I probably Reagan. have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school, and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I won the international moot court competition. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only need 123 credits, and I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Frank. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. guys, thanks for watching. And if you all want to support this channel, check out the links in the description and let's keep putting some common sense back into the great debate.